<clears throat> Good evening to everybody. Uh, welcome to the video conference that corresponds for um, class number six. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Okay, uh, well, it's eight o'clock. That's mean that we're going to start um, to start right now. I'm just checking some information that you leave here in the WhatsApp group. Um, Okay, uh, you have been uh, talking about some exercises uh, that, that uh, you have in a platform. And I don't know if you have any questions for me, because I, I saw that you saw uh, some of them, uh, but I don't know if you have any question. So maybe you find an error in the platform or something like that, or uh, you wanna know uh, something extra, I mean, inform more information about um, the exercise that you had been solving. Um, I send you also a uh, text uh, from Inglés Corporativo. Um, I mean, the, the, the people in church uh, of this group told me that some of you haven't completed the section one and section two. Um, and the thing is that is um, a requirement um, in order to get the diploma. So you, you must you must complete section one, section two uh, for tonight if you if you can because it's so important for them because tomorrow they are going to check. Okay, they're going to check and uh, they will see that you haven't you haven't completed. The ones that complete section one and two, just admit this information because uh, you are in the in the right track. Uh, well, it, tonight we're going to uh, be solving the exercises that we have in a platform that is for list, the listening part, and also the ex some exercises that you have in a platform for section two. Um, and we're going to be talking about models with multiple uses. Okay, so uh, I asked you again, do you have any question for me? No? I have no question. I have no question, teacher. Okay, okay, sir. Someone else? Yeah, yes, uh, teacher. Um, Please, tell me, sir. We, we have until uh, 12 at midnight to resolve the, the exercise from Section. Unity. Section two, they, they told me that you must solve uh, section two for uh, today. So I, I sent a message uh, in the morning. I don't know if you if you uh, read it. But yes, but I, I want to I want to know uh, the the exact time that we have to. Ah, uh, to okay, tonight that. and tonight. So that's mean the, the midnight. Okay, thank you. Okay, sir. Someone else? Nobody else? Okay. Uh, well, we're going to be talking about models with multiple uses. Um, you know the models, right? So we're going to be just discussing uh, the uses that we can give uh, to all uh, of them. Uh, here we're talking about how to use may, how to use could, can, uh, how to use uh, would, Okay, um, and shoot. So uh, those models are uh, helpful for us when we're constructing sentences and, and we use it in uh, daily conversations. Uh, but I want to know, what do you know about models? What, what are the multiple uses that we, that we had for them? Um, does anyone here know something about it? about the uses of the multiple, uh, I mean, the, the, the models uh, and the multiple uses that we can uh, have with them. So what are those uses? Do you have an idea? When we use it, 
what is the reason why we use it? So, do you have any idea about it? Yes or no? Can you, can you repeat? Oh, I'm asking you um, about the, <clears throat> the multiple uses that we had for the models. Um, so it, <clears throat> we know that when we are constructing sentences, we uh, sometimes we have to use the model, the model words. <clears throat> and uh, each of them had different purposes. Uh, for that reason, the, it is called uh, that they have like multiple uses. Some of them uh, we can use in different um, contexts. So do you know what are uh, the uses that we can uh, that, that we can have when we use uh, the model words? Do you know what are those? For example, when you need a um, request or a, a favor. Okay, very good. That, that, that's one of the uses. When you are going to ask for something like a request, you can use uh, the model words. Like, uh, can you help me with this uh, information, please? So if you, we are using can, that means that we are requesting uh, some help about a specific situation. That's one of them. Uh, any other example of it? For permission? He for permission, be... very good. Yes, for permission, oh. that's another one. What else? Uh, when you want to advise advice. something? Advice, when you want yeah. to advise, a yes, that's right. When you want to advise something, you can use the model words. Very good. Anyone else? Mr. Torres? Actually, I said the, the, the to same, give an the advice too. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yes, to yes. About, yeah, to give an advice. <laughs> okay, uh, anyone else? No? Okay, and we're going to watch, we're going, uh, Mr. Torres? Yeah, Torres? actually I was thinking about uh, to, to offer something like, would you like to take some yeah. coffee or yes like that? for offer seat yes that's right uh, we we use it uh, well we use the model over would want to offer something would you like some coffee okay that's an example of it um i'm going to i'm going to play a video uh from youtube about this uh model the model birds. Let me show you this. This is gonna be an extra information for you. I know that you have this video in the platform, but it's so important to discuss, to, I mean, to discuss um, this. Just give me a second because I'm having trouble sharing my screen. Uh, okay, here. Please let me know if you, if you cannot hear, okay? If you can hear, I knew the models may express. Can you listen to the audio? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. I'm going to play this video. Please pay close attention to her. Hello, let me remind you the models may express degrees of certainty, obligation, suggestion, advice, or opinion. I suggest for you to stay and learn a little bit more. Model auxiliaries express many different meanings or moods. Models can express degrees of certainty. What's that noise? It must be the phone, almost 100% sure. It might be the phone, less than 50% sure. It could be the phone, less than 50% sure. Models can also express obligation, advice, or opinions. You must be on time for the interview. Obligation. It's very cold. You should wear a hat. Advice. Everyone should visit Paris once in their life. Opinion. Use models to write reactions to these situations. You and your friend plan to meet, but your friend never arrived. Okay, um, now that's it. And learn a little bit more. 
well, sorry, uh, that's the activity that we're going to be developing uh, tonight, but um, I want to discuss this. Do you know uh, this model words? I mean, uh, in the case of must, okay, in the, key, in the case of uh, made in the past uh, or made, okay? So, uh, do you know what is what are the uses that we um, give to to some of them? For instance, if I ask you, uh, what is the use or, or the correct use of must? When we use it, give advice. It's for and... obligation. That's mean an obligation. Yes. That when when we're giving an instruction and that instruction must be completed by, by someone. Okay, if I say you must complete the activity number two, okay, that's an obligation because you you I'm requesting you uh, to complete it. And the thing is that you must complete it. Um, what about the the moreover can when we use it? Can, what about can? Um, can express certainty. Okay. So in the case of uh, can, yes, it's express a uh, certainty, but but um, when we use this model words also, uh, we use it for requesting something, okay? Uh, if I ask to Mr. Torres, Mr. Torres, can you help me with the exercise number three? Uh, Mr. Torres can say, uh, yes or no? Yes, I want, nor I don't want to do it. Um, that, that's um, a request that uh, where um, he has the option to say yes or the option to say no, okay? Uh, what about the number, I mean, the number. <laughs> Uh, the model verb may. Do you know what is the, the, the use probability. of Probability. A probability, okay. Yes, a probability. So uh, may, it is used uh, uh, when, when we um, ask something, uh, we're letting know the other person that a uh, something may be uh, completed or sorry omissioned omissions yes uh, okay here we have some examples in, in the first one um in the first one it says that these moral words also can express degrees or certainty we were talking here just let us uh, here we were talking here about the uh, model where must, made, and could. Uh, as you see, all of them, we have like uh, different levels. For instance, in the case of must, it's an obligation, okay? It's an obligation. So, uh, or in this use that we're giving, when we're expressing certainty about something, as a, about something, we are letting know the other person that what uh, it's happening here is true, okay? Because it's 100% true. Um, when we don't have like uh, a degree of, of certainty um, about something, but we have more than the 50%, we can use the made, okay? It may be the fun. So we, maybe we have an idea about what is happening and we are like 50% uh, uh, where we, we are, we notice that maybe something, okay? When we use could, this is less, uh, could be, could be the fun, okay? Could be the fun, but we, we don't know uh, in, or we know less than the 50% about something. 
So this is another use of the model words because expressing um, expressing a certainty about something. So we saw beginning that must it has like a, the road of express an obligation and also in this case when we are talking about certainty it express that we are sure about a uh, something okay so in may it's happened the same and could also happen the same so here we have another other i mean other examples of it uh okay here um the model birds as we saw can express obligation advice or opinion um, can you help me with an example of a, a model bird giving an advice? You should study. You should study more. Okay. You should study more. Okay. Yes, that's that's an that's an advice. Uh, we are letting the other person that if if he or she study more, uh, that's mean that uh, he or she is going to be good in something. Okay, in something it could be uh, an obligation. Can you give me an example of obligation? Okay, an obligation, and uh, you must try to change your lifestyle. You must try to, okay, very good. You must try it, it's an obligation. In this case, uh, because of the word, may not be an obligation at all, because we're saying try. That's mean that the person can uh, do the action but won't be completed at all because it can happen, yes or not. Mm, but if we take it in the case of that uh, he or she has to do it, uh, it can be considered as an obligation. You must try because this person is going to try, yes or not. Okay, that, that, that could be a good example of it. Very good. Um, in the case of the opinion, do you have any other example of it? Okay, I'm going to give you one. Uh, for instance, the, the, in, in a sentence we can say like, you could uh, complete all the exercise if you want, if you want it, okay? That's an opinion about someone. So, uh, models can express all, all, those, all those things. Uh, also, if we have uh, examples of it, like uh, you must be on time for the interview. Okay, that's mean an obligation. It is very cold. You should wear a hat. Uh, and, and, and in this case, uh, we have the number two. Advice or advice. And, Use model. Sorry. and the number Opinion. three. And the number three. That is everyone should visit. Okay, she'll visit Paris once in their life. So that's an opinion. Um, well, we're going to develop the following activity. Please pay attention to it. Write reactions to these situations. You and your friend plan to meet, but your friend never arrived. Number two, you loaned a classmate a lot of money last week, but she still hasn't paid you. Sorry, guys. Use models to write reactions to these situations. You and your friend plan to meet, but your friend never arrived. Number two, 
You loaned a classmate a lot of money last week, but she still hasn't paid you. Okay. What are we going to do? We're going to be working in pairs and we are going to uh, write reactions using the modal verbs that we saw uh, here in this video. Uh, what reactions about what? Uh, to the statements that uh, she is she is expressing here in this video. You and your friend plan to meet, but your friend never arrive. That's a, that's the situation. That's mean that you are going to express, okay, reactions about this statement uh, using model words. Is it understood what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. No. Okay. Yes. Uh, what about the rest? Yes or not? Thumbs up. If you uh, understood what I'm saying or what I'm requesting for this activity. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Morales. Ms. Pastor and Ms. Tune. Okay, do you have any question? No? Before going to the breakout room? No. Okay, so I'm going to uh, um, create the breakout room right now. And if you have any question, please let me know. Okay, you have the option there to request uh, for help in the breakout rooms. The breakout rooms start right now. Please accept the invitation. Mr. Moran, are you there? Number two, you loan. I oh. I think hi hi teacher hello how are you uh, please, could we explain again? Because it seems we thought uh, we have understood what you said, but but maybe we're we're not clear with with okay. the exercise. So okay, don't worry. I'm going to explain again. Um, the thing is that you are going to be uh, working on um, well, you're going to create sentences. Uh, expressing uh, your reactions about the, stain, the statements that we saw in the video. Um, the first statement, uh, 
that you have here is, give me a second, I'm going to read it. Okay, here. It says, the first statement says, you and your friend plan to meet, but your friend never arrive. That's the first statement, okay? So you are going to write reaction of this statement, your own reactions about this statement, uh, but using modal verbs. Is it clear now? Teacher, for example, can be, uh, you should call him. Maybe he is still working. Exactly, that's what I want. That, that's the purpose of this activity. That's a, that, that's a good reaction. Uh, you can check the statements uh, in the exercise, I mean, in the, in the section 2.7, uh, section 2.7 in the platform. If you want to read it and, and if you want to, to check it, because the other one you are going to find there too. And it says, you loan to classmate a lot of money, but she still hasn't paid you. So you have another context where you can react using modal words, okay? Okay, teacher, could you tell us uh, the exact time of the where we can find that sentence please sure sure okay the first one you are going to find it in um second 59 and the other one you are going to find it in a when you have one minute with five seconds okay thanks a lot Okay, you're welcome. If you have any other question, please let me know. I'm going to uh, visit the other uh, breakout rooms, okay? See you in a moment. Okay. Uh, can you repeat? I can hear you very well. I cannot hear you. Oh, I say that if you can consider that your friend not a river a rival because he have an accident or something like that. Okay, that is good. Your loan a classmate a lot of money, but he's without pay. Okay. Maybe. And let me think about it how to how to build an opinion what do you do if a people <laughs> owe you a lot of money how do you do how do you how are you going to do if, if someone owed you a lot of money well, okay <laughs> well we should be very grateful i think Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we should ask for why are you giving me uh, so many uh, uh, money or so much money? Okay, I said my opinion. You must call him and ask what's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. My bell. Owe is pedir, ¿verdad? Eh, es deber. Owe. Deber, deber. Yo, yo pensaba que era dar. Me había confundido. No era dar. Por eso decía yo agradecimiento. No, yes, yes. Es you must call him and ask what's the problem. Yes. And you should uh, remain if you owe some money to, to him. To applicate your your sign because he's um, a security as sorry a safari held a saf in the meeting. Oh, okay, that's nice, but but <laughs> but my 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 suggestion is please take your phone. Uh, Besides you every single time because you can use 
for send a text because imagine that I I, I can imagine that you, that you can uh, you could uh, suffer an accident you can suffer yeah. uh, I, I don't know uh, a health uh, a health issues I don't know stuff like that right so so I was uh, I was worrying about you so please send 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 a message the next time please okay. I have an account. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you finish the time. Ah, okay, that's really yes, nice. okay, yes, it's not finish. a problem. It's not no. a problem. No. I, no. I don't no. have I listening a message, but I don't I don't saw, I don't see any. Well actually I uh, I can't see a message and I don't see a message. So when when this this thing uh, actually the message that probably you hear was the message that, that said that uh, the meeting is recording right now because the the, the administration is, is here, I guess. Yes. So <laughs> but but okay, that that's really nice. But I think that we get uh, right now the, the the main idea to this to this uh, this uh, exercise, right? I have three minutes more to say. Yeah, it's not a problem. <laughs> it is really okay. So, uh, so tell me, did you want to, to add some, 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 uh, some words or some, some, some things uh, to the conversation to, to get more ideas? I don't know. Yes, I like, but I have very bad pronunciation. And sometimes I it's difficult for me to, to listen. Okay. But I, I need practice a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the, the, I think that the main reason to the we can do the that we uh, are doing this is is to improve. Uh, that kind of yes, skills, right? Yes. And actually, to get the, the headphone is a is a great exercise to to get a, a, a good listen, right? Because yeah. here with that, this thing, you know, uh, in our conversation, play face to face is, is very different. Yes, because it's different. It, but this, this can help you to, to, to develop your, 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 your listening skills, your uh, vocal skills too at the same time, right? But yeah. it's okay. I, I actually I can understand every single, every single uh, word that you say. So. It's really okay, it's not a problem. <laughs> okay. So do you want to add the other, other thing? I don't know. Or oh, we are uh, for the for the exercise, we are we're okay right now. It is good, yes. Mm. I when you practice what? Oh, Hello, Vanessa. Hello. What what happened? I don't know. Vanessa and Carlos, are you still there? Are, are no, you still there? I, I I guess we are we are back on the with, oh, with okay. all the people. Mm -hmm. with the, okay. Yes. Uh, okay, guys. Um, we're going to we're going to see what are your um. What are the sentences you wrote in case you wrote it, wrote it I mean? Um, and let's see what are your reaction about those statements that we have in the video. Uh, we're going to start with Ms. Galdames. Ms. Galdames, I can hear you. Excuse me? I can hear you. Uh, no, I can hear you, but... Eh, clearly, I, I didn't listen anything. Ah, sorry. Eh, so uh, my my sentences was I wish he had called, but maybe he couldn't. He couldn't. Okay. Very good. And about the second one. Uh, the second one. Uh, I think 
she could have said something about it, about the money instead of disappearing. Okay, okay, very good, excellent. Good use of okay. models. Um, okay. Let's see, Mr. Morales, do you want to participate? Oh, okay, great. So uh, actually I was working with, uh, with Adela. So we can develop a little, uh, a little conversation, a uh, role play to, to, to use um, some models to, to explain that happened with the, the, the first statement, right? Or the first question, I don't know. I, I, I actually, I don't know if I hear uh, badly, but <laughs> we made uh, this, so I, I don't know if I, if I wrong. Okay, um, you mean you want to develop a uh, uh, short conversation? Reaction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can do it. Yes. That's, okay. that, that's okay. That's that's Bad. good in order to practice your speaking. Very good. Excellent. Go ahead. Okay. okay. But Mr. Morales sent and say me the another uh, occasion, another moment. I can send messages for advice that I can arrive at the meeting. You should get your phone <laughs> next to you because you need to, to, to send message when you you can or you could uh, you can go to the to the to the meeting right because I was uh, I was waiting for, for her a long period of time so it's a a priority that you have to, to, to get your, your phone next to you right so can you do that? <laughs> Okay, that's all, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. good. Excellent. Amazing, amazing. Very good. Um, well, thank you. Good job. And let's see someone else, Mr. Vasquez. Okay. Um, and for the first uh, statement, um, could, 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 he, uh, could he forgot a the the meeting okay he could forgot i mean he could forget the meeting he could forget he, he could forget the meeting uh -huh. okay okay very good um uh, and what about the second statement what do you have for it okay you loan a classmate a lot of money but she still hasn't paid you um You should ha uh, you should uh, call her because maybe she she has financial problems. Okay, very good. You're using models there, uh, Mr. Torres. Okay, I was working with Moises, I I think. Moises, okay. Yeah, and the first one is. Uh, Maybe he could have had an accident okay. before the meeting. <laughs> it it okay. wasn't my idea. <laughs> okay, okay, idea. okay. Yes, and you're using model. Very good. And the second what about one, the second one? And the second one about the money is you must call him and ask what's the problem with the pay in order to know okay. what is happening. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, so when, uh, any a group is missing here. I mean, I think everybody has participated, right? Mr. Neftali, who are you working with? Mr. Rafael. Mr. Rafael. Okay, uh, ah. this, Okay. so that means that you haven't participated, right? No, I don't have participate. Okay, room. so go ahead, sir. Um, the first instance that he mentioned that was mm -hmm. if your friend could have to assist, and even because he okay. have a he had not seen. Okay. He could have an accident. Yes. And what about the second one? The, this is the obligation sentence, really. 
No, it's a reaction using model verb or the second statement. Oh, in that case, we have to use the verb must. If you want, you can use must, could, should. Yes. No, it, it was mentioned that um, the sentence we have using the most verb and the sentence was it. My mother must have to must have to must have, must have go to the basin because because like because it's more safer in, in your health. Okay. That's our reaction about the second statement. Yes, it's a reaction. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. So, guys, um, well, we can use models in order to, uh, as you know, uh, the context that, that we uh, have for each statement. Um, in this case, so in, in both statements, Maybe you can use advice, making, maybe you can use uh, like suggestions, requests. That's depend uh, the, the corpus they want to, uh, that you want to give to each of the morals. Uh, well guys, as I told you, we're going to be developing the exercises of the section number two. And I'm going to show you um, my screen. Just give me a second. Okay, here you have. This is the uh, this is the I mean the exercise uh, that we have in the listening part. That's mean two point ten, uh, and here we have an audio uh, that we must listen in order to complete each of the exercise exercises that we have here. Uh, I don't know if you have completed, but if you if you haven't. Uh, this is the right moment to ask something, and uh, if you want uh, to ask why we use a, a specific um, type of sentence, something like that, so you are free to ask. We're going to listen to the audio right now, so please pay close attention to it. Um, I'm going to share the audio right now, just give me a second. Your sound. Okay, you're going to listen just the 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 song. I mean the the the, the audio. Um, you won't see anything. Okay, so please pay attention. Good evening, listeners, and welcome to Still Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight, we're going to talk about the strange case of Betty and Barney Hill. They were convinced that one night in 1961, they were abducted by aliens. Could this really have happened? Martha Stevens is here to talk about it. Martha, what's the story? Hi, David. Well, one night, while the Hills were driving home from a vacation in Montreal, they saw a bright point of light in the sky. Barney assumed it must be a plane or maybe a satellite, but Betty thought it could be a UFO. There were no other cars on the road, so Barney drove slowly so they could watch it. The object seemed to be flying beside them. Barney began to agree that it couldn't be a plane, so he stopped the car. And Betty said she saw about ten creatures looking at them through windows in the object. And then what happened? As they drove quickly away, they suddenly felt tired, and their bodies felt strange. Their next memory was driving on the highway again. They arrived at their home early the next morning. They said things were still strange. How were they strange? 
Well, they couldn't remember the drive home clearly. Betty found pink powder and stains on her dress. She had no idea where they might have come from. Did they contact anyone? Betty wrote a letter to the Air Force about their strange experience and about the terrible dreams she was having. The Air Force said Betty must have been having the dreams because she thought she saw a UFO. They said she couldn't have seen aliens. Betty and Barney were interviewed and hypnotized many times by doctors. They told stories about having medical tests on the spaceship. What did the doctors think? They doubted the story. They said dreams like this can be triggered by science fiction TV shows. Barney's description of the creatures matched creatures from a TV show. Doctors figured the Hills must have seen the show. Betty said Barney couldn't have seen the show because he worked in the evenings when it was on TV. Hmm, I suspect the doctors were right. That must be the real explanation. Well, maybe. There's one more thing. Doctors asked the Hills what time they left Montreal and what time they got home. The trip should have taken four hours. The Hills were amazed to realize it had taken them seven hours. What happened to the missing three hours? Good question, Martha. I guess that's why it's still an unsolved mystery. Okay, that's the audio. I think you uh, pay attention to it. And uh, what we're going to do, I don't know if you have completed this exercise, if you did, okay, that's, that's good. But do you, if you haven't, I'm asking you to go to the exercise. Uh, let me see the number. Is the exercise 2.10. Go to the listening part and complete each of the statements here as it is asked in this exercise. This one. Uh, let me share this part. Okay? This part. A 2.10 listening exercise. Um, as you know, it, it has like 25 points um, because this is this activity is going to count in the final uh, score. The instruction says, listen to the radio show, check the facts or claims mentioned. Out of eight facts or claims, there are only six of them mentioned. Listen carefully. So here you have we have a uh, just six, uh, six sentences or six facts in this case uh, that were mentioned. Could be facts or 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 in this case uh, claims. But so uh, as you listened, complete each uh, of the exercise till the number six, and after you finish, uh, please send a screenshot to the WhatsApp group, okay? Easy or difficult? Okay, guys, um, is it understood what I said? Yes, okay. Very good. So please uh, complete it. You are going to have just five minutes in order to solve this exercise. And um, that's going to be old. But uh, please send the screenshot. If you want later, you can check the audio and uh, correct. Uh, the exercises, okay? So, go ahead. Five minutes, start right now.
Teacher. Tell me, sir. Uh, could you help me with, uh, I, I've done the exercise, but I, um, before I was trying to complete uh, the 2.5 uh, knowledge check, and I was having a, a problem with number four and number five. You mean 2.4 or 2.5? No, I meant 2.5 knowledge check. And it and that exercise has a eight sentences. We have a sir, we have a lesson objective in 2.5. Yes. Okay, but we don't have knowledge check here. We just have just the objective. Yeah, I'm I'm in section 2.5, knowledge check. Uh, we are uh, talking about uh, problems, problems word, uh, read the following sentences, not in the ah, words or phrases. Okay, okay, give me a second. Teacher, you break. are in another yeah. course. Yeah, I, I got it, I got it right now, sorry. Sorry, sir, <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't pay attention to it, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you mean to point by is knowledge check? Yes, you are right, sir, sorry. Thank you, Anita. Okay. Um, well, you mean which exercise? The number four and number five. Okay. I, uh, mm -hmm. I thought in number four, uh, I have to use aggravate, but it's wrong. Mm -hmm. And in number five, I thought it could be uh, avoid, avoid. Okay. Um, here is the problem. Uh -huh. uh, let me see. In the cases of the number four, do you try writing the word in past? Mm, no, uh, I didn't. I didn't okay, think. Try in that way. Um, could you spell, or, or, or I, I mean, I'm going to spell uh, to see if it's correct. Oh man, I, I, I dropped the, the second G. I need to add ED. Yes, 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 uh-huh. Thank you, Isaac. Aggravated. Uh, so do you think that's the case from the number five? To, to write it in past? No, yeah. in, in the cases of the number five is because we're writing uh, the, the verb, but it is in, in it is conjugated in uh, third person. It's a, ver, a, a third person verb. But um, the sentence says, uh, Robbie always follows the recipe closely to uh, I think it's prevent. infinitive. Yes, uh -huh, it, it, is, it, is, it is infinitive, but when we uh, change it, to, oh, well, we change that word, we can use it in third person. What, what is the option that you have? I put a voice. And yes, yes, in, in third, in third uh, person is. It's a third person verb, yes. Uh-huh. But I, I don't understand that. Because you have to delete the uh, two in order to have a voice, okay? Oh, uh, I, I thought we, we have to uh, substitute exactly what is in the, how do you say? Uh, infinity, you mean bracket, writing an infinity? The bracket, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, substitute uh, exactly the words uh, that in to the that in in brackets between the brackets. Ah, you must adjust uh, the, this kind of word. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I, I send uh, before to to uh, ask you. I send the screenshot. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Amazing. Okay, guys, uh, this has been all for today. I don't know if you have any other questions before, before um, 
closing this uh, video conference. Do you have any other question? No? No, teacher. I don't have questions. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you for letting me know, Ms. Galdames. No, teacher. Neither do I. Okay. No, uh, Ms. Garcia, Mr. Carrillo. Everything is okay? No, thanks. Okay, no, very good. No, teacher, thank you. Mr. Vasquez, Mr. Moran, everything is okay? Yes or not? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> thank you. Okay, uh, yes, very teacher. Good. So, um, uh, as we saw, uh, sending message to the WhatsApp group uh, sometimes is helpful because uh, you help each other, and that's good. That's amazing uh, because um, if I don't uh, answer you uh, quickly, you can help each other. Okay, you can uh, well try to uh, solve the the questions that have been that um, have been that you post there. Okay, so um, I will try also to be a uh, focus on on the WhatsApp group in order to answer some of your questions in, in case you don't you you can um, you can solve it. And um, well, that's been all for tonight, guys. Uh, I I have to say bye bye and blessings for all of you. See you till this coming. I mean, today is Thursday, right? Yeah. So I will see you this coming Monday. Sorry, because I'm lost. I, I have a lot of things to do, and and sometimes I I, I lost. Uh, I'm lost. I mean, so um. We're going to be uh, working till this coming Monday in place. If you haven't completed this section to do it because it's so important. Uh, you have to the midnight, uh, I mean till the midnight um, for completing that. And, and that's all, okay? Bye-bye, blessings for lost years. See you. Okay. Thank Monday. you, bye. Thank you. See you, bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. everybody. Thank you, Mr. Happy weekend. Thank you.